this next comic uh, passed away. He, he survived cancer, some pretty serious cancer, and then got in a car accident, and it was pretty sad. But he's extremely funny. So, he is here for you tonight, and you're enjoying pleasure. Everybody give it up for Robert Schimmel! Great to be here. Flew in yesterday, got to my hotel about 11.15 last night. They give me one of those credit card keys, I stick it in the door, walk in, there's a guy sitting on my bed in like boxer shorts. A big dude, he's like, hey, what the fuck? And I was like, whoa, I ran out of there. Went down to the front desk, I'm like, I don't think that guy wants to share the room with me. <laughs> then I started thinking, what if that guy called some like weird escort service and said, yeah, this is my fantasy. I want the front desk to give this guy a key to my room. And when he comes in, I'm gonna act startled like he's breaking in and beat the shit out of him. And fuck him right on the floor. But he's gotta act like he doesn't want it. Cause that's the way I like it. And you know the guy's calling back the next day like, hey, I want the same guy tonight. Not only was he great, he left so quick I didn't even get to pay him. And they got those adult movies in the hotels that you can rent. But they don't really show anything. It's always the guy naked, like, down to here. Here's where the screen ends. He's like, oh, yeah, baby, you can suck it. I'm, like, standing on a phone book trying to look into the television. <laughs> I think that's why they uh, invented the speedy checkout, just so you don't have to face that guy the next morning. Like, all right, that was one night at $79. By the way, how did you like Cockmonger? <laughs> what? I think there's a mistake. I didn't rent that. Yeah, you want to see the video of you jacking off to it? <laughs> Took my kids to Disneyland in LA, I took them to see the Marine Show. Because all the flyers said, see how fish really live in their natural habitat. But you get there and there's like clowns riding on the back of dolphins and whales jumping through burning rings. Like that's what it's like to go to the beach. Then my daughter wanted some food so I took her to the snack bar. They were serving filet of fish. Like what the fuck, are these the acts that screwed up? What a thing to have held over you, like hey, you missed that hoop one more time. You see your friend Louie on the grill? Yeah, we don't fuck around here. I don't care if you're fish. Get back on the bike. The bike or the grill. My daughter wanted a pet. I got her goldfish. I think I figured that'd be easy. The thing died in like a day. But you can just flush it down the toilet. That's the natural uh, barrel let's see. You can't do that with a cat or a dog. I mean, what if you tried and it got stuck and the rotor rooter guy comes over like... Yeah, I think I found the problem. You got a German Shepherd in your toilet. <laughs> so she wanted a rabbit, I got her a rabbit. Three days later, the thing's sick, just laying there. Marge said, maybe we should take him to a vet. Yeah? Just let me take him for a drive. <laughs> I'm gonna take a $5, vet, $5 rabbit to the vet. So we're at the vet. <laughs> And they wanted to keep him in the animal hospital for observation. I swear to God, I'm not making this shit up. We go back the next day, the thing's in an oxygen tank with an IV in its arm. And the guy goes, I have some really bad news for you. Am I wearing an I'm an asshole t-shirt? Pull the plug now. I'm seeing four potential keychains, maybe. So we got her a puppy, we got the puppy. And I love my wife, she's great. But when the thing shits in the house, she asked the dog if he did it. He is never gonna answer her. Like, did you shit over there? No, honey, Aunt Rose took a shit in the kitchen. And then she'll drag this thing over to where the shit is. I'll never do that. That dog knows he shit, he's gonna piss the entire way over to where the shit is. That's why you gotta trick them. Don't let them know you that you know they took a shit and like block their view like, hey, honey, where's my boy? Come here, boy. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I got mad, I was gonna hit him. My, my wife's like, honey, you can't hit him, that's cruel. You just rub, what, what, sorry. You just rub their face in this shit, that's how you do it. Really? Let's ask him which one he wants. <laughs> rub his face in this shit. What if it's a Doberman or a Pitbull? Hey, did you take a shit? Yeah, you got a problem with that? No, it's a nice looking shit. <laughs> and on the rug, just the way I like it. Here's a question, how do blind people know when to quit wiping their ass? I'm 
good to be here in Dayton. I live in L.A. About three weeks ago, I was involved in a carjacking. Fortunately, none of it got on the upholstery. When I was a kid, my mom told me, whenever you masturbate, your dead ancestors are watching you from heaven. I figured, fuck it, who are they gonna tell? Wouldn't it be crazy though if it was true you get up there like, hey, Bobby, how's it going? I'm Robert Simo, good night.